Hello everyone, this is Hayden with iBroke. Um, got a little bit of spare time at the shop, so I thought I would take everyone through a complete disassembly of the iPhone 4 Verizon model, that's the CDMA model, and then we're going to put the front screen on, so we're going to do a second video on um, the reinstall of the screen. So a lot of the videos out there don't show you how to put the phone back together, so we're going to do that for you as well. Alright, let's get started. We have our um, Verizon iPhone 4 here. Um, so let's get started. We're going to need a pentalobe screwdriver for our pentalobe screws here. Let's go ahead and pop those out. I apologize for the reflection in the lens. I, I didn't really set up the lighting. It's uh, kind of a last minute idea. Alright, now you're going to want to place all of your screws. In a, in a way to where you can get everything back together. So the way I like to do it is I like to slide the back cover off and then the bottom screws I actually place inside the back cover like this. And I'll also do the same with the cover, the screw for the battery cover here and uh, the components in this area because those components are pretty unique and you don't want to lose them. Uh, so any small Phillips head screwdriver will do. The battery screw, battery connector screw is the first thing you're going to want to remove. Uh, we're going to want to disconnect power to this phone um, as soon as possible. So you're going to want to take a non-conductive plastic tool such as this one. You can find them uh, various places. We also have, uh, have plenty of them in stock if you guys need a tool kit. Um, you just want to gently pry up this battery connector here. One of the most common mistakes made in iPhone 4 repair is breaking the battery connector off of the motherboard um, for do-it-yourself. So make sure that you take your time when you pry that off, okay? All right. Now you're going to want to take um, any kind of spudging tool. I like to use a metal spudging tool and you're going to want to stick it here behind the battery and you're going to want to pry up so that you're prying the battery away and then pry the battery out like that. Um, that way you don't rip this little plastic tab because it is very fragile. Alright, so now that we have the battery removed, um, it's there's some differences um, that you'll notice if you've repaired iPhones before. And it's not exactly like the iPhone 4 model. Um, here we have some differences in the metal cover. Um, so we're going to actually remove these screws. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to remove all six of those screws. Underneath of this screw is um, a little metal clip that you're also going to want to remove and you're going to want to keep these two items together. I'm doing this in re you know pretty slow because um, I know that these tutorials can move kind of fast, so hopefully I can avoid you guys having to um, rewind and pause. Now be careful that screw will pop up, so once you make it loose, you're going to want to um, keep it keep it together with that, okay? All right, now we're going to move on. You're going to get the other five out. You're going to want to keep these screws organized because they are different sizes. Looks like the lens is a little blurry. Let me try and uh, wipe this off. All right. So, now that we have all of these loose, you're going to place them um, in such a way you can remember which, which screws go where. I like to lay them out um, in the design that, that they are in the phone. Uh, you can kind of use this as your guide. Alright, now you'll see that there's several um, connectors. You have one, two, 
three, four, five, six, and seven connectors. Make sure they're all pried up. Gently pry them up. If you have to force anything in jobs like this, um, you're doing something wrong. So just pry all these connectors up. I'm going to zoom in for you. I have this one here. And this one here. That's three. Four will be your camera. Just remove your camera. Set that off to the side. And you have three more. Go ahead and pop those up as well. Okay, now that you have all of those removed, you're good to go up top. Except for this one more screw hiding here. That's this screw is actually the screw that um, the screw with your clip that we removed first screws into the top of this. So I'm going to keep that in the same area. Sometimes a little pair of pliers helps. I like to use um, these here. They come with uh, most nail kits. All right. Okay, we have a couple more screws to remove. We're removing two screws now on the cover for the dot connector. This is where the dot connector um, actually hooks into the motherboard. All right. Now this flex cable has a bit of adhesive uh, between it and the board so you're going to want to take your tool and just kind of slide it along until it pops up. Uh, don't pull it back you'll risk ripping it and then that's another component that you need fixed. Alright so we're not out of the woods yet. Uh, there's still a few more screws. Um, particularly uh, your antenna cover here. It's very easy to miss. Antenna cover And there's a screw. Let's see. Where is it at? There it is. And there's a little black cover there. So make sure you keep both of those pieces together. <coughs> Excuse me. And then we have two more screws by the battery. Last thing, pop up the antenna. And you'll see how it's kind of woven into these little clips. Just unwind it there. All right, now your board is, um, oh, I forgot one. It's back up here. Almost forgot. This little screw right here in the corner by your camera. It also has a golden clip attached to it. There's a lot more pieces in this phone than it is the AT&T model. The engineers had to get creative when they jammed uh, new tech, you know, different technology into a device that had been designed for something else. So here's your little metal golden clip and it also had a screw on top. Make sure you keep those together. So now your motherboard will come free. There's no SIM card to remove in this model. Uh, the best thing to do is get behind the board. Sorry, I um, also forgot this one. This screw goes with your dot connector cover. All right, now we're coming free. And it should just pull right out. Okay. All right. Now, vibrate motor. Get underneath of that. Gently pry up. It's got some adhesive on the bottom. 
And finally, remove the loudspeaker housing. There's two screws on the side. This side here has a plastic cover uh, that's going to come out as well. This one has just a screw. You can usually just take your finger and, and pry it out like that. That is the inside of an iPhone 4 uh, Verizon model. And as you can see, um, we have all of our parts. There's parts everywhere. All right. Now to get the screen off, there are 10 more screws, one in each corner of the phone, and three on each side of the phone. Okay. For instructional purposes, I'm going to just remove a couple of these, and then you guys can get the rest, and I'll get everything ready for the second video. All right, there's a piece of black tape covering this screw here. You can usually just go right over top of it. And uh, I, I've been doing this long enough to where I can just kind of scrape them out and make them go where I want. Uh, you may have to tap it a little bit. Um, there's a washer attached to the bottom of each one of the screws on the side, so make sure that you have three washers uh, after you remove the screws from each side. Um, you're going to want to hold that dot connector flex back. And sometimes you need to try a different size screwdriver. If the phones have ever been wet, uh, any type of moisture will cause a little bit of rust to build up there. Um, so you may find yourself in a position where, um, where you need to dr actually drill the screws out, but I'm going to try to avoid that today. Sometimes you'll notice a little bit of rust in there, but this one's coming right out. These little throwaway screwdrivers can come in handy. They're hard to overuse so the blades are always sharp on them. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and pause the video, and then um, don't forget, there's a screw in each corner, boom, boom, three on each side, alright, and I will start the next video at removing the front screen, and then we'll drop the new screen in. Alright guys, I hope that the video helped, and if you have any questions, you can always contact us through the myibroke.com website, uh, our email's, email address is sales at myibroke.com.